A group of people staged a protest rally in Mongolia's capital Ulaanbaatar on Tuesday amid Russian President Vladimir Putin's visit to the country. The protesters gathered outside of the government palace in the capital, holding Ukrainian flags and chanting the slogans, Get away, or criminal Putin out of here. The protest was held amid the Mongolian government's refusal to arrest Putin on an international warrant for war crimes committed in Ukraine. The small-scale protest was later dispersed by law enforcers. It should be noted that Mongolia is a member of the International Criminal Court, which issued an arrest warrant against Putin over war crimes in Ukraine. The court alleges that Russian leader Vladimir Putin failed to stop the unlawful deportation of children from Ukraine to Russia since the conflict began over two years ago. Prior to the visit, Ukraine urged Mongolia to arrest Vladimir Putin. However, the Kremlin said it had no worries about the visit. Убийцы, уби. Ukraine is doing a very good thing by targeting Russian oil and gas infrastructure to reduce Russia's ability to make money from selling oil and gas to India, China and other consumers, former U.S. Army Europe Commander Ben Hodges told Novini.Live. According to him, due to such strikes, Russians will begin to feel the impact of the fact that their power grid and oil and gas infrastructure are being damaged. Also, the Black Sea. You know the Ukrainian Navy has basically pushed the Russians out of the Western Black Sea. The Russian Air Force is still reluctant to fly over Ukraine because they haven't been able to achieve air superiority, Hodges said. The American military believes that Ukraine will continue to develop its own defense industry, thanks to which the world will see Ukrainian weapons that can go further than any other weapons that the United States can provide. Ukraine will have to decide this on its own, he stressed. Recall on the night of September the 1st, Russian energy facilities were attacked by long-range drones. During the raid, the Kashirskaya GRES, Konakovskaya GRES and the Moscow oil refinery were hit. As Defense Express writes, although there is no official confirmation from the Ukrainian side, there is still something to analyze. In particular, analysts believe that the campaign of strikes has entered a new phase. If we start from such a basic level, then it is quite possible to deduce that from today's strike by our UAVs on Russian state district, power plants and oil refineries in Moscow, it will literally burn and, due to several factors at once, the experts note. They noted that the Moscow oil refinery is located within the Russian capital and therefore the damage to an important facility cannot be hidden, although the mayor's office claims that the cause of the fire was a downed drone falling on a technical room. However, propagandists and the media write that the fire has received the highest level of complexity. The refinery itself has a capacity of 11 million tons of oil per year. What is important is that this enterprise provides 40% of the gasoline and 50% of the diesel fuel needs of Moscow itself and is also the main supplier of aviation fuel for the capital's airports. If we talk about the damaged Russian state district power plants, then we need to provide the following details. To begin with, let us clarify that in this case, GRES in Russian stands for State District Power Plant, that is, we are not talking about some special type of energy generation. These are essentially the same thermal power plants, Defense Express notes. 
According to the latest data, Kashiaskaya Gress has been undergoing modernization since 2021. The Russians hoped to increase its capacity from 410 megawatts to more than 800 megawatts of generation by 2028. At the same time, the station in Konakovo has as much as 2,520 megawatts of generation and therefore the destruction of such a facility could have more tangible consequences for the energy system of the aggressor country.